Friends like this video and subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to create new videos. Thank you for watching me. Episode 113. Hiya! I know it has to be like this, but I'm uncomfortable with all these nobles trying to talk. To me and those ladies asking me to dance. Be offend. It looks like you drew a lot of attention, huh? How dare you look at me like this? You. Ugh. You seeing him stumbling like that, it's like he's drunk. Um, Ayuk. You. Enjoy it while you can. After all, it's not something you can even dream of. You enjoy it while you can. I'm talking about your relationship with Ferentia Lombardi being so close and spending time together because you're similar. Do you think this is going to last long now that she's made her debut? She is Galahan Lombardi's daughter. Even though her lineage is slightly defective, because of her mother's origins, Galahan Lombardi's money makes up for that inconvenience in spades. One stressminga.me unlike you. No one would even care if you disappeared right now. It's difficult to admit, but everything he said is right. Me, on the other hand. What? Don't come any closer. See, ah? Uh? Wrong. What? That's wrong. You little Belisac. Huh? That's what Tia used as a curse. You're the one who has to enjoy it while you can. You. Uh, uh, ah. Fortunately, I was able to calm down my father and grandfather. Now, where did he go? I don't think he would have gone back. Excuse me? Huh? I'm sorry, but I don't want to dance. Oh, oh my. How could you be so rude? Rejecting someone so straightforwardly can be seen as something rude. Such a rude man. You. Yay. Ha. Uff. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. Are you all right, milady? I'm fine. I believe our ballrooms are quite different from the ones in the East. How do you know I'm from the East? Well, I noticed a moment ago when I saw the way you rejected that lady's invitation. I heard the East has a different culture. Oh, you're amazing. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Avenox Lufman. Oh, he's the son of the Lufman Estrismang family who will inherit the title in the future. Your appearance and smile have an impressive synergy to it. My name is Valentia Lombardi. Oh, you're Lady Lombardi. It's an honor to meet you, Lady Firentia Lombardi. He is very confident and straightforward. Besides, I don't sense any overt adulation. Um, oh, found you. Perez, I'm here. Ha, huh. what? Why does he have such a different expression? Tia, Cress, where were you? Outside, getting some fresh air. I see. I've been looking for you for a while. Looking for me? You suddenly disappeared. Of course I was going to look for you, don't you think? Oh, I didn't introduce them. Ah, uh, this is... My name is Avenox Lumen, your highness the second prince. Ah, uh, the son of Duke Inditru Lumen, who just inherited the family. You know about us? How does he know that the head of the Lumen family from the east recently changed. Because of his beauty and talent with the sword, it slips my mind how intelligent he is as well. Oh, what an honor. After hearing about how talented you were since you were little, I've always wanted to meet you someday. He is really excited, unlike Perez, who looks bothered. Wow. After all, it is quite likely that he's never met a noble 
who showed their admiration for him so openly before. I still think it's incredible when I remember how he charmed all the nobles of the empire and won them over to his side. Oh, father. Hmm. Ah, Lady Fredentia. What? Why is everyone coming here? This is Lady Ferentia Lombari. Oh my. Skissming. Greetings, Lady Lombardi. My name is Indy True Lumen. I'm the head of the Lumen family. Episode 114. I heard that you helped my niece Tiliana so much, so I came to thank you in person. Oh, it's nothing. Em? Aren't you surprised that she doesn't share my last name? Yoke, actually, I was really taken. Right, Lady Florentia is a very calm person. I already knew when I heard of the name Tiliana Giderwell. The last name Giderwell was changed according to a small territory. That indict Ruman's brother got after being independent. I heard it wasn't that common in the East but it's an obvious fact for the ladies who live in harsh circumstances. I heard that Tiliana was teased and called the hillbilly from the east. Uncle, you helped Tiliana without knowing she's a Roman. How kind of you. It was just something I needed to do. You're fiat tearing. Tiliana actually makes things more fun for me. I indeed. Oh, isn't it Sir Roman? Greetings, Your Majesty the Emperor, the Emperor, my grandfather, my father, and Clarivan. Even Sir Ruman, they're all here. What a sight to see. You shouldn't be here any longer. Let's go up. Than Man Elm, very gleeful. This is an invitation to the back room that's limited to only a few people, even Sir Ruman's henchmen. Oh, right. The main character of today's debutante. Lady Florentia is also here. Huh? It's quite bothersome. I guess there isn't an option. Thank you. That and you should also come second prince. How unexpected Perez was also invited. Everyone's looking at Perez. Although Perez is the prince, people have been underestimating him. It must come as a surprise that now such an important person as the emperor invited him to the back room. Taza, you. If we go there, the food will be so great. Let's try it out when the adults are talking. Oh, okay. What's wrong? Did you see someone you know? It's nothing. Such a lowly person. How dare you not know your place? Are you all right, father? M. Um. I hate Tia. Yes, she's so mean. His, what now? Why didn't you dance with us? You're always with that second prince. No, his highness the second prince. I'll dance with you next time. We'll have to go to banquets together until we're sick of it. And next time, together. Rock, paper, scissors. Arrgh! I won, I'll be first. Honestly, is it because they're children? The banquet drained me, but they're still so energetic. M. Tia. Tia, grow up slowly, bit by bit. You did well today, father. K. then yes, your highness. Get prepared to go to the academy. Huh? I'll go to the academy. But for now, don't tell anyone. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Caitlin knows that anyone also include Sir Lombardi. 
but she must be determined. She still chooses to protect my honor. And there will be a guest. A guest. Who's coming? Please excuse me, your highness. There's someone from the Empress Palace. It has started. Episode 115. You didn't even greet properly. What kind of rudeness is this? Ha! Greetings, your highness the second prince. Did that lowly thing greet me with a nod? I came to deliver her majesty the empress words. She has ordered you to come to her palace. Please come with me. Now isn't a great time. Huh? Her Majesty said that you needed to come right away. I'm feeling unwell. Please tell her that I can't come. Your Highness, if something's bothering you, I'm fine. That won't be my last guest today. I think it's better to have someone stand at the door to make the announcement. If anyone comes, just say that the prince is sick. If the empress has something to say, she can say it in person's A. I understand. He real doesn't know his place. Can we even do this? I think the prince has a plan already. Your Highness, these are the invitations to banquets and social gatherings that came today. Although I expected it, the reaction is one another level. It was worthwhile going around the banquets and talking to aristocrats. My days will be longer and the Empress will send even more people. Wait, so he's my guest is here. I heard that you weren't feeling well, second prince. Kylas Kitellen, leave the room for a while. We'll be done talking soon. Yes, we understand. As I said, I'm not feeling well, and I'm quite busy at the moment. You're going to attend the Academy soon. I wonder what you're going to do with these invitations. I told you, I don't want to go to the Academy. And with this many people reaching out to me, I don't want to go even more. The Emperor and I had a deep conversation yesterday. I'm sure that I'll stay in the Imperial Palace and not the Academy. Prince! Do you want to get revenge? Then you have to take away the thing they desire most. That's revenge. She wants the throne for Astana, and I'm the only obstacle in her way. They're afraid that I'll establish my position as the second prince. I deliberately socialized at the debutante ball to make it seem like I was interested. Do. I didn't expect the emperor to invite me to the back room. But yes, I took advantage of her gaze, watching me throughout the banquet. Of she sent people here the next day. Tell me what you want. What is it that you want? 10,000. Money? I'll have to sell the territories in Anjanas. But if that's the price to get rid of him, I'm willing to pay. So you only want money. Indeed, you're showing your true color. I'll give it to you. Instead, don't think about coming back to the palace until graduation. Of course. I know it's not an easy path, but I need that money to follow my plan. So, the next six years will be a great chance for Astana, but the same. Thing goes for me. I'm not going to spend my life leisurely there. I won't leave without that money. 
So if you want to get rid of me, you need to hurry up. Episode 116. I won't go anywhere until I got the money. So you need to hurry up if you want me to go quickly. Ha! You don't need to worry, Prince. The Empress said until graduations. I guess she doesn't know the Academy allows outstanding students to graduate early. Now, I wonder if I should cheer for that woman who borrowed money from local nobles. Are you all right? Estera, who went to the academy to do research and study, has returned to Lombardy. She became the main doctor for Lombardy after the other doctor was kicked out. Estera's schedule starts at early morning. It's my grandfather's checkup. Estera, how is my grandfather? He's always working, so he's not in a good condition. It seems like without a doctor, he's also been neglecting his health. I knew it. My grandfather has a bad habit of forgetting about his well-being. Grandfather, I gave you supplements to take. Oh, ho, ho, Tia, you're worrying about me. Maybe he's glad that his granddaughter is concerned about him. I must ask Butler Johan to give you supplements every day. And you'll also have to cut down on alcohol. Okay? Ahem. Hem. Yes, I understand. Honestly, you. You must do it, all right? Both you and father need to pay attention to your health. Okay, I promise. Pinky promise. Ho, ho, all right. I'll leave it to you, Estera. You must stop him if he overworks himself. Yes, Miss Florentia. Oh, what, a carriage. It doesn't have the imperial family symbol, but it looks expensive. Hi, T. Why are you here so early? Do you have schedules today? Today? Nothing, Mitch. Why? Then, will you hang out with me? So, where are we going? It appears we're leaving the Lombardy territory. We're going back to the castle. I need to find something. Oh, all right. Well, he doesn't leave the palace that often. Maybe he wants to take care of everything while he's out. Um, um, Perez, yeah. There's going to be a hole in my face. Do you have something to say? No, not yet. Okay, I'll wait. We have much time. Oh, this is Setacuna Street. Could it be? I heard this place makes the most beautiful jewelry in the empire. This is where a diamond artisan and Evan left and set up his own business. Indeed. Now, Tia, come in first. <laughs> it's not like I can't come here, but so that the things I have aren't revealed. I have a clear line between work and personal life. He came here. It feels like those two worlds have intertwined. Otot, all right, let's go inside. Right, what could happen? They said we should bring our stuff outside. I'll take a look around. Just take your time. I thought this was a familiar place, but coming as a special guest seems different. I wondered who was it that tipped and made such a rushed order. Turns out it's you, little owner lady. Little owner lady? Mr. Chloe? He still doesn't know I'm the owner of the pallet union. Why is the sharpness of old people with many years of experience? Working at this time. Oh, it's my nickname for Lady Lombardi. She's a student of the Pellet Union, but she seems like a teacher. I'm not here to buy anything. It's him. Hmm. High class clothes, but simple at the same time. Well, must be a young boy from a noble family. I see. Please have a look. Hairpin? Perez. It's beautiful, Tia. Is it for me? Yes. Do you like it? About that? 
he's practically wagging his tail and waiting. I can't even joke that I don't like it. Yes, thank you. I'll use it well. Unlike others, this guy shows little emotions. A smile to this extent must mean he's extremely excited. The gift giver is that happy. I should at least show my sincerity. How is it? Do I look good? Yes, you look good. Tia, are you really to speak? Yes, I'm going to the academy. Episode 117. I'll go to the academy. Okay? So that's what you decided. I already guessed though, because a new semester is starting at the academy. Perez, are you going because you want to? Yes. In the previous life, Perez decided to go to the academy at 15 years old. There's only one difference now. Back then, he was sent to the academy because of the Empress, but not this time. That's great. I hope you'll learn many things. I have a question, Tia. What is it? Do you think going to the academy is a good thing for me? Yes. Why? Because you will meet your people there. You'll learn so much. But why didn't you convince me? You could have told me to go. About that, it was a choice you had to make. Although Perez had to go through so much at a young age in this life, he's not like the Perez in the previous life. He had so much dire venom in him then. It made him become the crown prince. But Perez is not like that right now. If you're just going to waste your time at the academy, you better not go. The choice I had to make. You're right, Tia. It's the first time I'm deciding what path to take. I've been thinking for a long while. I know why I must go to the academy now. Thank you, Tia. So, when are you going to the academy? I'm not sure yet. Tell me when you know, I'll see you off. Okay. Your Highness, everything's ready. All right. Oh, and Chief Handmaiden Impigra asked to see you. Chief Handmaiden Impigra, let her in. I heard that you were going to the Academy, so I had to come in to see you. What's the matter? There's something I need to give you. Gloves? The Academy is in the mountains, so it's cold in winter. It also snows heavily. I asked the Imperial Knights. They told me nothing works better than gloves and training during Winter A. Thank you. It was such a rush. When did you even prepare this? I suspected you'd go to the Academy at some point, and... Your mother, Miss Keela, she came here to be a maid, but she was clever, and I... promoted her to a lady-in-waiting. I taught her. When I heard that child who always smiled was sick, and she was locked up by the Empress, no doctors were allowed to see her. I resented it so much. I only heard that the child she gave birth to left the Imperial Palace. I believed it, and it was my fault that I didn't know Keela's lineage was still in the Imperial Palace. Although outsiders can't enter the Academy, I can send a few mates. Just tell me if you need anything, I'll get it for you. Thank you. You must be well, Your Highness. For the time being, I have no reason to return to the palace. When I return after everything's done, I'll be a whole different person. Good morning, Perez. That, the, how? Did you know? Just so. For permission, I didn't tell anyone on purpose. It seems like you're leaving today. As a friend, I should see you off. Ha, you got me this time. You're always like that. You understand me even better than myself. In front of your bright eyes, it's like you see right through me. 
Again, you showed up. This little hero always appears when someone needs help. It's your first time leaving the Imperial Palace's shelter. It'd be sad to go by yourself. Thank you. That's what friends are for. I, I left chocolate and sweets in the carriage. Eat on your way there. I got it. You know what? I always think of you when sweetness hits my tongue. I've come to like sweets. The candies overpower the bitterness of the pills I took when I was younger. And whenever I have sweets, your bright face appears in my head. I'm Florentia Lombardi. That's how you came into my dark, lonely life. I hope you'll survive. No, I think you must live. A spark in the night. And you helped me. The path that salvaged me. And you kept your promise. My time at the Academy would be the most difficult. It's because I wouldn't be able to see you. All right. It will be cold. Where's the first scarf I gave you? I'm afraid I'll ruin it. There's sunlight. I'm fine. Take this. It's soft. Just like Tia. Travel safely and remember to send me letters often. The Academy doesn't allow outsiders to visit. Don't forget to show me your face on vacations. Her gaze is so loving and soft, but that affection isn't only for me. She's just too friendly and kind. Not just me, she also helps other people. Send a letter if anything happens. When there are others in your eyes, I can't control the greed growing inside of me. Are you worried about me? Of course, isn't it obvious? Just this time. I wonder if I should be bad to Tia. Just once. You, it's my goodbye. Don't forget me, Tia. I'll miss you every day. I'll go now. Right now is not the time. Friends like this video and subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to create new videos. Thank you for watching me.